Hello everybody, and today's tutorial is going to be about Kahoot, which has become a very popular assessment tool inside of classes. So the purpose of today is to show you how to create a Kahoot, how to navigate the website, and also just to get a deeper look at it as far as a check for understanding with a scoreboard. So when you type Kahoot into Google, uh, this kind of this login screen will come up here and it'll either prompt you to uh, sign into a game or you can also go to also create one if you have a sign up. So t for students, all they would do is enter the following web address, uh, kahoot.it. That's all they have to enter into the search bar. And this page is going to come up and it prompts them to enter a game pin. So once your Kahoot is created, it comes up with a pin. They enter that pin in and then they're logged into the game and they give themselves a nickname. So I'm going to show you uh, my account real quick just to show you. So once you make a free account, it brings you to a little screen right here that shows you how to make things and how to teach new material using Kahoot. Today we're focusing on the assessment aspect of Kahoot though. So if you go up to my Kahoots here, it lists the ones that you have created. So here's the ones that I've used so far in my classes. Then they also have a list of public Kahoots as well and you can search up pretty much any kind of concept that you're looking for and it's pretty much got everything so when I make a hoots first I look to see if there's a, a a kahoot that can be used first so like say if I'm trying to do measures of central tendency I can look at some of the questions preview what it looks like and if I think it's good and I might need to change a few things, you can simply just hit duplicate. And then you can edit a complete copy of that and make it, uh, make it different or more um, attuned to what you're trying to teach. So as far as Kahoot as an application goes, it's a very good informal assessment. And what I usually do is use it for a review before a test or some kind of quiz. So some of the advantages of using this is that students test their knowledge of concepts without it really counting against them. And also the teacher sees real-time results of each question. And often what I do is I have students explain the correct answer to each question. So when the round begins, usually they have about 20 seconds the question right here would come up on the screen and then these four colors and shapes would come up on whether they're on their either their phone or their computer depending on which they choose to use so on a phone you would just tap the color and on a computer you would just tap either the shape or the color so that's how they would answer the questions and then right after that it tallies up everybody that got it right who chose which answer and which one was the correct one has a check next to it and the teacher can easily see you know what the kids are getting right and what's coming to them easy or some of the things that are a little bit more troublesome now I've been using Kahoot a lot in the classroom with both seventh and eighth graders but there are some drawbacks if you're not ready for the management piece of Kahoot because it can get really intense really quickly because after each question it shows you a scoreboard and you depend you get scored depending on how fast you answer the question correctly so the max you can get is a thousand points for a question that's if you immediately hit the correct answer as soon as the round began so you get scored based off correct answers and the quickness of that choice so those who need a little bit more time to think about you know the answer to the question um, are a little bit at a disadvantage it can get easily overwhelming for students that are not very competitive and students often can exit the game before the conclusion but 
while you're playing the Kahoot in the top right corner, it'll show you how many students have answered the question. So at, at a certain point, if you realize you're losing numbers, um, you can you know get everybody back on board because the pin stays at the bottom of the screen for students to uh, resubmit in case they get kicked out or something, or if they just tried to exit the phone and they're trying to look at something else. Um, other cons with Kahoot is that it can be really time consuming if it's a, it's a longer Kahoot. I usually make them between five and ten questions because if it goes past that, it just is a, it's real time consuming. And also the students, they have the ability to choose their own name at the beginning. So like after they would enter a certain pin here, you know, it has them enter a nickname. And uh, the students get very creative with their nicknames for Kahoot. So you might want to set some ground rules early that, you know, your real name needs to be in there somewhere because otherwise you can end up with a lot of different crazy names. And even though Kahoot boots the ones that are inappropriate, there's still ways that students can get them through, especially using emojis. So that's also something to look out for. So that's Kahoot in a nutshell. Uh, why don't you give it a try?